Did you know that electricity plays an important role in the way your heart functions? Muscle cells in the heart are contracted by electricity that runs through your body. Hello, welcome to another episode of Physics is Easy with Mr. Jesse. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss the properties of elementary charges, introduce the formula of the total charge, define electric current, and solve related problems. Properties of charge. Firstly, charge is quantized. Now, charge, when we say charge, it could either be an electron or a proton. And when we say quantized, that's proton. When we say quantized, this means discrete quantities, discrete quantities or whole number, whole number. This means charges like electrons and protons would always come in whole numbers. So there's, there's no such thing as 1.5 of an electron or 1.5 of a proton or 2.75 protons or 2.75 electrons. It will always be a whole number. So all charge is a multiple of a fundamental unit of charge which is symbolized as E. So electrons can be symbolized as negative E and protons can be symbolized as a positive E. Now the value of E is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb. Coulomb by the way is the unit of charge. This is the unit of charge. So this means if electrons are symbolized with negative E, so the value of the charge of an electron is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb. This is the charge of an electron, while the charge of a proton would be a positive 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb. Again, remember that E, this E here, is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulomb another quantity that you must be familiar with is the total charge or the total charge which is symbolized with the letter q so total charge is just equal to q is equal to an e where q is the total charge and the unit for that is coulomb N is just the number of elementary charged particles. And when we say charged particles, it could be protons or electrons. And remember that the value of E is just 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb. Now let us do a sample problem. What is the total charge of two electrons? So remember, Q or the total charge is equal to N or the number of elementary particles multiplied by E. So to do that, we have the total charge, Q, we have two electrons, so N would be 2, multiplied by the charge of electron, so that would be negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 uh, Coulomb. And therefore, this gives us that the total charge of two electrons would be um, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb and take note that it's negative because it's an electron. So remember, electron is symbolized with E negative and therefore that's equal to negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb. Now here is another question. What is the total charge of 1.5 protons? Now, you might be tempted to use the equation Q is equal to N, E, and N would be 1.5, and E would be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulomb because it's a proton. But remember, as what we have mentioned earlier, that charges or elementary charges should come in discrete quantities. It should come in whole numbers. So therefore, this question would be invalid because we cannot have 1.5 of a proton. So this question, the question is invalid or 
erroneous. Moving on, let's talk about electric current. Now, electric current is the rate of flow of electric charge. Now, when we talk about rate, time will always be a part of the equation. So, electric current is represented by a symbol I. So, therefore, if it is the rate of flow of electric charge, then current is equal to Q over T. And remember, Q is equal to NE. So we could also express current, which is I, and that's equal to NE over T. Now remember that current is I, to Q is the total charge, and T is time. Now the unit of time should be in seconds. The unit of charge or Q should be Coulomb. Now the unit of current is ampere. Remember that Coulomb per second is also known as ampere. So therefore, 1 Coulomb per second is just equal to 1 ampere. Now let us do a sample problem. How many electrons have passed in 1.0 microsecond if the current flowing through a conductor is 3.2 times 10 to the power of 6 coulombs. So we are given time and that is equal to 1.0 microsecond. Now micro here is actually equal to 10 to the power of negative 6. So we could uh, write 1.0 microsecond as 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 6 seconds. We are also given the current, and that is equal to 3.2 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 6 Coulomb. And we are asked how many electrons. So basically, we are asked to solve for the number of elementary charges, and that is equal to n. So now recall that the formula for current, which is I, is just equal to Q over T. And this is also equal to N times E over T. Since remember that Q is just equal to N times E. So we are going to utilize equation I is equal to N E over T to solve for what is given or what is asked rather in our problem which is N. Now let us substitute the values. Now, I is equal to 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 is equal to N, which is what we need to solve for, multiplied by E. And since it is um, an electron, then we will have negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. That's the value of E for the electron divided by time which is 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 6 seconds. Since you are not allowed to use calculators then it is very essential that you recall your loss of exponents especially that the givens are in scientific notation. So we could simplify the above equation by writing 3.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 6 is equal to n multiplied by negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 divided by 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Now recall the loss of exponents because we need them in order for us to be able to solve um, these pro sample problems or these problems without a calculator. So recall again that if we have x raised to the power of a divided by x raised to the power of b, this could be simplified as x raised to the power of a minus b. Also, if we have x raised to the power of a multiplied by x raised to the power of b, this can be simplified as x raised to the power of a plus b. Now to solve for n given this equation here, I will have to multiply both sides of the equation with 
1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 6 so that I could cancel this denominator here and again I will have to multiply it on both sides so that would be 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 6 now in order for me to cancel this quantity here I, I will have to divide this e side of the equation with negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 and I'll also do it on the other side so that's negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 again that allows me to cancel this term in the numerator of the right side of the equation now rewriting this equation we will have 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 6 multiplied by 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 divided by 1 negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 and this is equal to n. Now, let us simplify the numerator. So we have here 10 to the power of 6 and another 10 to the power of 6. It's very similar to x to the power of a multiplied by x to the power of b. Therefore, therefore I could write 10 to the power of 6 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 as 10 to the power of negative 12. And then I have here 1... 0 0.0 times 3.2 I could just simply write 3.2 in fact the numerator can be written as 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 12 divided by the denominator which is 1.6 or negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 and this is equal to n now looking at this equation I have 10 to the power of negative 12 in the numerator and 10 to the power of negative 19 in the denominator and again the loss of exponents tells us that we just have to subtract a and b therefore we could write this um, equation or we could write this term as um, 10 to the power of negative 12 which is a minus the exponent in the denominator so that's minus negative 19 and then we have 3.2 we have 3.2 divided by negative 1.6 which is simply equal to negative 2 so therefore we could actually simplify this entire equation as negative 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of negative 12 minus uh, the exponent of the denominator which is negative 19 and that is equal to n. Simplifying this further we will have neg negative 2 multiplied by 10 so the raised to the power of negative 12 negative 12 minus negative 19 would actually give us 10 to the power of positive 7 and that is equal to n or we could say that n is equal to negative 2 times 10 to the power of negative 7 but remember that we are asked how many electrons and we don't have negative and we don't have a negative answer for this therefore n is actually equal to 2 times 10 to the power of 7 electrons so there are 2 point uh, 2 times uh, 2 times 10 to the power of negative 7 electrons and therefore we have answered our problem and that concludes this tutorial once again always remember physics is easy with mr. Jesse